This is the Glaxo factory where they make loads and loads of toothpaste. On an average day, they make one million tubes and pumps of toothpaste. Now it seems pretty simple when you look at them here, but behind all this are the systems that support the factory. And without those systems, nothing would happen. It's the same in any factory. This is a company called Time RPS. They make very different products, but the importance of systems is the same. We're going to have a look at those systems and find out why they're so important. Factories have been around for about 150 years. There have always been systems in factories, but in the old days they were paper-based. Over the last 25 years or so, computers have come to dominate the life of factories. Computers to design products, computers to plan stock control and production, computers to monitor production, systems to maintain quality, and so on. Different factories make different products. Everyone knows that. But they also have different types of production. At Time RPS, the products they make are often low volume. In other words, they don't make many of them. Sometimes only one. For example, this product here is actually the mould or tool in which the product is made. In this case, screwdriver handles. This kind of low volume production is called batch production. This tube of toothpaste is what's called an FMCG, a fast moving consumer good which means they just keep on making them and making them and making them and making them <laughs> This sort of production is called continuous flow production for obvious reasons but just to keep this lot going is a big systems job in itself. <laughs> 